Hello guys, welcome to this 19th episode of the built a web API in ASP.NET Core 3.1 and consume it using an MVC client also in ASP.NET Core. I shall be uploading one video every day from Monday to Friday and I have kept to that schedule so far and I intend to do so that in future. So for viewing the completed application in action, please watch the introduction video in part one with the link in the description of this video. In this episode, I shall walk you through creating the order controller. And in this series of tutorials, all the episodes will be in continuation and built on top of the previous ones. Hence, it is recommended to view them before viewing the current ones. It is suggested to view the entire duration of the video in all these episodes to get the best out of them. And I welcome all constructive comments and shall endeavor to reply to them. And appeal finally to please subscribe and share this channel and click the bell notification icon to get the latest in uploads. And let's get to the learning outcomes of what we learn by the end of this lecture. Accordingly, in this lecture, we will complete the order controller. Now let's see the finished order controller in action in the way that we saw the finished product, finished customer controller in action with the web API request being sent to the customer controller. Now this time we will send the API request to the order controller and see the how it returns the response. So by clicking IIS Express again, when the web browser comes up, I have now browsed to this URL API slash order. Now only one order is present and we can get that order by that ID, order ID and that will also return only one result. All right. So let's now flip over to Visual Studio and do the coding that will bring up till the end of this learning outcome, which you'll see a order controller in action. So again, following the same procedure as before, I click on add controller. Right click on the controllers folder, click on add controller and click on API and API controller empty following exactly the same process and then rather than values controller, it will be order controller class. So order controller dot CS. Again, order controller is derived from the controller base class. So here again, I'll make a private I order repository type order repository for injecting into the constructor. Okay. So now let me first bring on this namespaces. So yeah, I have to use the models folder. So using this project dot models, I'm inside the controllers folder. So web API dot models. Now let's start again. So private. Now I can use the I order repository. I I order repository type interface and call this order repository with one of the suggested names and I need a public constructor order controller. Okay. So CTOR for constructor shortcut public order controller and I pass this I order repository as a dependency object. So I order repository and call this again repo and then this order repository for this class is assuming the value assign the value repo of injected dependency okay now i am ready to use this order repository anywhere okay so that's the beauty of dependency injection you know or constructor injection in is another way of telling this so simply HTTP get again and basically the repetition of similar methods only thing that you know customers will be 
replaced by orders so public in i enumerable type again so public it returns an i enumerable of this time order or customer so it is order because we are writing the order controller so get orders and it returns can you guess what it returns it returns using this order repository object dot get all orders intelligence is it all all right so it will return all orders and then http post or you can say http get with id so let's first write http get with id So get orders by ID or get order by ID rather. So I'll call this public and what it will return? It will return order type or order object. So get order by ID and passing an ID of type int. And it will return an order by this statement again using order repository dot get order by id and passing this id parameter that's it and then i've got this get operations and then put post and delete http first post now http post i have clip uh, put on my clipboard just to save time so this is again public order now this is create method it gets from body of the request and it passes the order object and it returns order repository dot add order it calls the add order method okay and similarly we have got the http put for the update and delete for the um, delete operation so http put http put operation over here so this will be update public order update now update order takes it from the form okay as we have seen from the customer controller it gets it from the form body from form And it returns order repository dot update order okay and then passing in the order pass to it from the parameter okay as a parameter now finally http delete again
passing an id like we did for the customer controller and then it returns again nothing null public void delete gets an integer id so order repository dot it calls the delete order method okay and passes in this object passes in this id okay and that's it that's the pretty much all the operation delete update create get order by id and get orders and let's build the application again control shift b and will succeed it so the, our crud operation for this customer controller for this order controller is also through we have now built the customer controller as well as the order controller